it seems like in the RuneScape community, two things are happening. The first thing that's happening is a lot of players are getting burnt out. And then the second thing that's happening is a ton of content creators are leaving to other games, including old school. And I wasn't really gonna make a video about it because it didn't really seem to need to be a video, but I've had a ton of people asking me like, Ryan, what's going on? What are you doing? Um, and I wanted to just kind of talk a little bit about that. Now, I'll also have timestamps so that if you don't care about why I think this is happening uh, and you just wanna know what I'm doing, you know, you can cut around to that. And uh, yeah, I've seen a lot of people trying to say it's because of the hero pass. I've seen some people saying it's because necromancy is too easy or it's too strong or it's too boring or whatever else. Um, to me, I think it's a combination of a lot of things and I think it's a lot of general burnout as well. All of the RuneScape creators went really, really ham around necromancy and put in a ton of hours. And uh, I don't think it's a bad thing that they potentially want to try a different game or take a break when they're burnt out. As a RuneScape 3 content creator, I look at old school a lot. I'm familiar with the game and the creators as well, but more than that, I look at the mechanics of old school as a tool for content creation. Because at the end of the day, RuneScape 3 is effectively my canvas. It is the tool with which I use to make fun content and then deliver it to all of you people. As a content creator, from a content creation standpoint, it is a fact that old school is a better game to be a content creator. Not only is there a lot better earning potential, a much bigger audience, better tools, and better visual clarity so it's easier to onboard new people into your content, there are also a ton of limited time game modes, and Jagex invests way more in their old school creators than they do in RuneScape 3. So the first thing I'm going to say is I would not blame another creator for switching to old school RuneScape, because being a RuneScape 3 content creator is very tough. Even if you reach the absolute pinnacle of success for what is possible in RuneScape 3, uh, you're smaller than 20 or 30 or 40 old school creators, and there's just a limit on how large you can get, how much you can grow within this game. In addition to that, and everything I mentioned before, there's one other big elephant in the room, and I think this is where the hero pass ties in. When I look at RuneScape 3 and I looked at Necromancy, I saw an awesome content release. I saw Turning a New Leaf, and I saw the beginning of a new golden age of RuneScape. And the reason I saw that is because they put out a really high quality update that was generally speaking very well liked. And as a result of that, a ton of new players came back to the game. This was definitely a cope on my part, but I thought, okay, they've got this great update. They've got a lot of players back. Tons of people are buying membership. So maybe over time, we can see a pivot into a reduction of some microtransaction stuff and go with a model more similar to old school. Because if you didn't know, unlike RuneScape 3, where we have eight or nine different forms of monetization, old school only has two. It has membership and it has bonds. That's it. There's no buying experience and there's no gambling, which I find to be very predatory and can be very problematic, especially with certain promos. So I'm feeling great. I'm feeling like, wait, RuneScape 3 is actually a really good game. People are loving it. And then they drop the hero pass on us. And to me, the hero pass in its specifics wasn't so bad. No aspect of it was so egregious, but the timing really was. And the timing definitely took the wind out of my sails and a lot of other people's as well, because it was a proof that no matter how good the updates are, how many new players are coming to the game, they are still going to push as much microtransaction as humanly possible. And that was really disappointing to see. Now, you might think it was naive or it was stupid to think for a second that that wouldn't be the case, but that's how I felt at the time. So now, you have a combination of creators who are one, burnt out because they spent a ton of time playing necromancy, and two, disgruntled with the future prospects of the game. And to me, that is an absolute perfect storm for people to look over at old school, the closest game to RuneScape 3, and see that as a creator, I'm gonna be honest, it looks pretty good. There are periodic limited time game modes that aren't based around FOMO or microtransactions. They're just based around a really fun gameplay experience. They've got Group Iron Man, which encourages awesome creative collaborative content. And then in addition to that, they don't have any of the crappy MTX that in a lot of ways is taking away from the game and the ability to enjoy it for a lot of players. So yeah, if you're wondering why I think so many people left, I think that's why. And despite not having any ill will towards the people who have left RuneScape 3, it definitely sucks. I've been in this community for 10 years. I've been playing this game since I was a little kid. And it's always tough to see so many of my colleagues and people that I used to work with and make things with move on to a different game. Um, I wish them all the best. I hope they have a ton of fun with old school in the next kind of phase of their, of their careers, if you want to call it that. But as someone that loves RuneScape 3, 
it's tough to see. And it feels like a, a pretty big failing that after all of this time, RuneScape 3 still isn't a great place to be a content creator. And that especially sucks because I have put so much time and energy and work in over these last 10 years trying to grow RuneScape 3 and make it a place where people feel comfortable and confident and understand that, yeah, if I get really good at making content or I make some really unique creative stuff that I could find success here and I could do this and there's a future prospect, but uh, it's just not there yet. And uh, I'm not going to get into like every single reason why it's not there yet. It's definitely a very complicated situation, but it's just not where it needs to be. That being said, I think a lot of the time people have a short memory and this has happened before. If you looked at the largest content creators in RuneScape 3 from, let's say, five or six years ago, you would notice that a lot of them, especially when you're looking at Twitch and streamers, have moved on to other games. It's a very normal thing, especially in an MMO, for this to happen, there to be a bit of an exodus from time to time. And creators are going to do what's best for their families and for their careers, and I could never blame anybody for doing that. So, where does that leave us? The RuneScape 3 Twitch directory is the most empty it has ever been, and that is not an exaggeration, since the day it became a thing and the day it split from old school. On the YouTube side, there is less interest in RuneScape 3 YouTube videos than any other period of time in the last few years. A lot of people have been asking me or leaving comments or being like, when are you going to old school? Old school when? And I wanted to talk about that because it's something that I have thought about very extensively. When a bunch of creators like Micro, Evil Lucario, Parley, and Wazi went to make a group hard crime and on old school, they invited me to be a part of that group and that team. And I want to go through why I told them no. I understand that times are tough in RuneScape 3 right now, in the creator space in particular. I understand that a lot of people are negative and are unhappy and are disgruntled with the state of RuneScape 3 at the moment. But I've always felt like one of the things that I'm good at is being positive, and maybe that's me being naive, but I also think that when things aren't going the very best, it's really important to have that voice and that presence there so that people know that they can find my content and it's not gonna be me complaining about the MTX thing. It's not gonna be me complaining that the game is going downhill. It's gonna be me having fun, enjoying RuneScape the same way that I have for the last 10 years. You could call that naive or you could call that stupid, but to me, I still believe in that dream and the dream that I had 10 years ago when I made my first video, that someday RuneScape 3 would be an awesome space for creators and for people to make content that was enjoyed by a ton of people. Are we there yet? Absolutely not. And is this a bump in the road? It absolutely is. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It is extremely stressful. It is extremely time consuming. It is very scary when your numbers go from this to this out of nowhere. They take a plunge like that and it directly impacts your bottom line. So I want to confirm and reiterate right now that I will not be leaving RuneScape 3 for another game for as long as I can support myself via making content here. I want to be really clear though. Me sticking to RuneScape 3 isn't me signing off on all of the things that the game and the company is doing. I am not a fan of microtransactions, I am not a fan of the Hero Pass, and I'm not a fan of any form of in-game gambling or loot boxing because I think it is fundamentally predatory. But that being said, I love this community, and the people that have stuck by me for the last 10 years and beyond are you guys. And I think I owe it to you to do everything I possibly can to make this work. So, with that said, I have a ton of videos coming out I will still be live on Twitch just about every single day, and I look forward to seeing you all there and continuing to make RuneScape 3 content. And for everything that you guys have done for me and supporting me through these last 10 years, I want to be able to give that back to you guys. Keep making content, keep helping people get into the game and understand the game, and most importantly, I want people to continue to have fun playing RuneScape. So with that said, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all very soon for the next video.